It's rude to stare, you know. <laughs> Don't worry. I've no mind to start anything with you. After all, I've stayed in such good shape by choosing my meals carefully. A survivor, by the grace of my own careful preparations. When I heard the claws scrabbling at the door outside, I took care of matters myself. And since then, I've been careful to keep myself fresh and fed. An incredible act of animancy, of a magnitude this part of the world likely hasn't seen since Anguithan times. Someone found something very powerful and ancient, and I'd bet my own preserved life it wasn't Aldhelm or his lovely assistant. <laughs> Believe me, I've heard that line before. <laughs> that fool Aldhelm. He sent you, didn't he? I can hardly believe he's had the cleverness to survive. That simpleton thinks he can understand how to use something without understanding what it is, or why it is. <laughs> he dabbles with ancient and powerful devices, with all the finesse of a blacksmith. He sends you here to petition me for aid after years of disparaging my research. I'll bet he didn't even tell you the tower's name, did he? That's his problem. Always looking for solutions without caring for meaning. Ter Nuneth. It's called Ter Nuneth. They built the machine atop it to contain souls, hold them in place. But the others I've seen, machines scattered all over the Deerwood, are relays built to move souls. Ah, another mystery. Hypothetically, anywhere they wished, the real question, as always, is why? To intermix them the way a player shuffles his deck, the way a farmer rotates his fields. To collect them, like butterflies under glass. To melt them down for raw essence. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't know. Perhaps they didn't. Perhaps that's why they built no other machines like this one. We now see the Anguithans as masters of soul manipulation but they couldn't have attained their expertise without copious trial and error. Perhaps this was one such experiment. I read the runes like a journal. I understand their meaning. People like Aldhelm try to read them like instructions, and in so doing, they miss their true meaning completely. Oh, back to these tinkers' concerns. And what would you do with these tethered souls if I told you? A level of humility rarely found in my line of work. Most refreshing.
So be it. My studies and efforts shall grow through yours. These are the words you need. Something has awakened in your mind. You understand far more than I ever did. Take this knowledge, then, and do what you will with Ter Nuneth. Now that you understand its purpose, it will serve you in whatever way you wish. Turn it off, I expect. That will be easy now that you can read the runes. The vessels would still roam, but striking them down would return their essence to the cycle. But be careful. That machine controls hundreds of souls, and that volume of essence could easily overload it. Improperly channeling the essence would destroy the machine along with the souls. It would be a terrible loss for posterity. Finished. I'll see it done. It's finished. Always a pleasure to speak with someone who appreciates true learning.
what is it? Still and silent. It's finally over. <laughs> 